This is a presentation on why it is necessary to have an active medium with three or more energy levels in order to create a laser, which is an amplified coherent radiation of one or more frequencies. So we can answer the question by first examining a two energy level system. We have a ground state, E1, and an excited state, E2. So incident radiation will excite the ground state electrons to the higher energy level, E2, where the electron can either undergo spontaneous decay, giving rise to incoherent radiation, or, as is the case in lasing, be stimulated by incident radiation to drop to a lower energy level, E1, giving coherent radiation in the process. So what arises from the system is a state of equilibrium. The radiation given off from the transition state, from an excited to ground state, is absorbed by the ground state electrons, which excites them to a higher energy level. Now because in a, in a lasing medium the lifetime of both states is the same, the number of electrons in each level is the same. No amplified radiation can be produced, as any radiation produced is absorbed by ground state electrons. The important thing to notice from these equations is that the rate at which the electrons move from one state to another are proportional to each other, to the density of the incident radiation and to the population of electrons in each energy level. So in order to create amplified radiation, we need what is called population inversion, where the number of, where the number of electrons in the higher energy level is greater than that in the ground state, so that the generation of coherent radiation is much greater than, the, than its absorption. This can be seen where N2, which is the population of electrons in energy level 2, the excited state, is greater than the population of electrons in the energy level 1, the, the ground state. So, in a free level medium, we have that. Electrons from E1 are excited directly into the transition state, E3, and the lifetime of the state is very short. Electrons decay very quickly into E2 without emitting any radiation. Comparatively, transition from E2 to E1, which results in radiation, is slow. So as a result, the time taken for electrons to move from E1 to E2 via E3 is much shorter than the time taken to move from E2 to E1, and population inversion takes place resulting in an amplified, coherent radiation being produced.